Bună ziua! Bine ați venit! Well, living in Romania is now thankfully back in Romania. Um, the next three videos you're going to see relate to England, the UK, where my mother lives. And I had to go back to get my passport renewed. So, uh, I've cut them into three. Uh, one is a visit to Winchester to see some dear friends. Um, Morris and Gary, uh, their allotment. Because I don't think allotments exist in Romania. So I thought it would be interesting for my Romanian friends to see an allotment. It's a, it's a garden which you rent from the, the council. And you grow vegetables for your house. You can grow flowers. And you can have a little uh, shed, a bar, if you like. So we'll have a look at um, a couple of allotments. And my friend Mo um, invited us to her garden, her garden room, or as it's known, Mo's Gin Shack, because Mo is an aficionado of gin. So we went to have a tankery, I think, with her, or a Gordon's, I can't remember. The uh, the next video is a visit to three of the best pubs in my mother's town, Chester Street. Uh, we're going to visit the uh, Lambton uh, Arms in the centre of town, the Lambton Worm on the outskirts of town, and the Wheat Sheaf. Um, and those are three of the nicest pubs in Chester Street. And that video was suggested by my good friend Sam, who is the assistant manager at the Lambton Worm. He also suggested I film Chester Le Street itself. Now, Chester Le Street is a market town with a great history, but it doesn't have a great um, current history. People think it's a dump. Uh, in fact, there's a rather rude website about Chester Le Street um, where the word street is um, changed to something... Uh, relating to caca <laughs> so you can have a look at that website if you wish but I think there are some good parts to Chesler Street and you'll see those as well so I hope you enjoy the next um, three <coughs> videos on the vlog and thank you very much for watching I really appreciate it Bye. so we're still in England and uh, I thought we'd do a little series of uh, visits to local hostelries or pubs which is very unusual for me um, there are three uh, which are fairly nice one's in town which I'll try and film tomorrow called the Lambton Arms another one is uh, uh, just near here called the Lambton Worm and I'll tell you all about the legend of the Lambton Worm. And the other one is the Wheat Sheaf. They're all very nice. Very nice people who work there. So uh, I go in for a coffee in the morning. And a drink later on. And uh, they're within walking distance. Uh, so it's, uh, it's all very pleasant. Uh, nice weather at the moment. Beautiful flowers here. I did ask the lady what this was, but uh, she didn't know, so never mind. And there are some lovely houses around here. It's a very quiet area, you can see. And up we go towards the main road, which is the main road to Newcastle from uh, Durham, Chesley Street. Before the motorway was built, it used to be very busy, but it isn't now. It's not quite as busy. Nice new house here. 
It's only been there about 10 years. Quite big. Now the Lampton Worm, the legend of the Lampton Worm, is that there is a worm <coughs> wrapped around Penshaw Hill. On top of Penshaw Hill there's Penshaw Monument. And the Lampton Worm, it used to be fed seven virgins a year. So it's a little bit like the legend of the Minotaur in Crete. And uh, some brave chap ended up killing it. Uh, the Lampton Worm pub itself is a pub and a restaurant and a hotel. It's been there for ages. It used to be a coaching inn in the old days. And um, it's, uh, it's rather nice. Quality of food there is very good. Look at these. This is probably the nicest area of uh, Chester Street. Big houses all the way down the right. You can see one such enormous house at the bottom of this drive, Oakley, which has recently been renovated, done up. And it's just a peaceful, tranquil area and it's a very pleasant little market town a lot of people think it's a dump think it's rubbish uh, there are a lot of closed shops because we're going through a bit of an economic crisis in the UK but uh, that's enough people are very friendly <clears throat> it's what you tend to find uh, in the UK uh, for my Romanian viewers that the uh, People in the north are a lot friendlier than people in the south. People in the south don't really want to talk to you or say hello or thank you. Whereas uh, people up here will give you the time of day, chat away to you. Fantastic. Right. Now, I don't know if it's open yet because we're a bit early. But we'll, we'll go and see. So um, I have asked for permission to do some filming from the assistant manager. He said that would be fine. So we'll go and go and have a look. Now, price of drinks, very important. Well, here a pint of Heineken will cost you four pounds twenty, which is a fair price. At the Wheat Sheaf, it'll be four pounds, and at the Lambton Arms in town. £3.50. So you're paying between £3.50 and £4.20, which in lay is about 24, 20 to 24 lay. So it's about four times what I pay in Romania. Four times more expensive. Well, there we are, that's life. We'll then have a little look in. See if I can introduce you to. Uh, some of the staff, if they're there, who knows? We'll see. <clears throat> so we're coming in. Are you talking? Can I film? Of course, Thank you so much. This is the very lovely Olivia who uh, works here and is kind of head honcho. And this is Sam, who suggested Hi. I do a vlog <laughs> from uh, Chesterwood Street. <laughs> and this is the interior of the pub. What a wonderful, beautiful pub it is. It's just been sold. It'll be under new ownership soon, is that right? Under new ownership soon? Sorry, I can't hear you. Sorry, it's been sold, I believe. It's gone through. Brilliant. Good news. And. Uh, Let's have a look at the legend of the Lampton Worm. Here we go. So here's the song. Water for the dogs. 
and we'll have a little look at the uh, the restaurant, if I may. You've got dining area. Very pleasant. Live music every Friday. Oh. And then uh, moving on, a restaurant area. Pretty spacious. So it's a fair sized pub. Kitchen. So, I'd recommend you visit the Lampton Worm. Always assured of a warm welcome. <laughs> so here we are outside the second pub, a very uh, historic building called the Lampton Arms. Um, the theme of the Lambton is because the Lambton estate is near here, owned by Lord Lambton, the Lambton Arms Hotel. And I've got permission to film, so let's go and let's go and have a look around. Very comfortable. It's a big pub and a hotel with 10 rooms. had a refurb um, a couple of years ago. There's an outside area, car park. Very comfortable. And here's the main bar area. Do you want to be on film or not? <laughs> <laughs> it's up to you. I can make you a YouTube star. <laughs> no? <laughs> okay. Can I have a calling now, please? Yeah. yeah. No. I've got, I uh, know, I've got everything I want. Thank you. Pool table. There we are. So at three fifty, cheapest pint. So the final pub on our tour of uh, Chesterwood Street is the Wheat Sheaf. Towards Berkeley on uh, North Road and uh, run by the lovely Claire and her Italian husband Manny. Very historic pub, very historic. An old cattle buyer, I believe. Just by the, used to, used to be an old railway line and is now the coast to coast cycle track. In we come. 
and this is the uh, this is the main bar. Oh, you've got another TV. Have you always had that? Um, I'll just imagine that. No, we've had that for a, over a year. Uh huh. Wow. Um, nice wood burner for the winter. And then a dining area through here. Car park outside of the veranda. And for the kids, a lovely uh, play area, garden, play area for the children. And this was essential. This was very important in COVID times because you could still come here for a drink and um, be served. Whereas all interior sites were, were blocked. Uh, as I said earlier, price of a pint here is four pounds. So 24 approximately just under 24 lay but it's uh, it's a nice space and very nice um, landlord and landlady dog friendly pub lots of dogs come here with their owners and uh, there you go so you've now seen three three of our pubs in Chesler Street. We'll have a look at some some of the sites of Chesler Street tomorrow. But I think you'd agree, it's not a bad place to live. Right, thank you.